Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, you know, Deloitte um, does a, an annual a survey on what the, uh, the financial leaders say about blockchain and the digital assets. Uh, and they've been doing it for a few years now. So they recently came up with the report of 2021, where they have um, interviewed some uh, a thousand um, financial leaders across a few countries, and uh, they have come up with some startling uh, figures. So um, starting today, I'm going to do um, uh, you know I'm going to break down the research and give you snapshots of what has been the outcome of the research. So today we're going to talk about the perception, you know, what financial leaders, what kind of percep perceptions they have on blockchain, um, digital assets, cryptocurrencies, and all of that. So in this particular video, we'll talk about that. Tomorrow we'll talk about a few more stuff. And then we also talk about the, you know, the barriers that they see in terms of um, uh, blockchain and digital assets. So let's dive in before we do that. Um, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. Please um, comment on my video so that I know what exactly you're looking at. And also please share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my research, from my analysis and from my videos. So let's jump right in. So first things first, as you know, I have an ebook on my journey as an entrepreneur. The book is titled Six Figure Corporate Job to Master an Entrepreneur, where I've, I've spoken about the time back in 2010 when I quit my six figure globetrotting corporate job. Uh, you know, how I planned, how I uh, did my research before I quit. Then after I started on my own, what kind of challenges I faced and how I overcame those challenges. All of that is there in the book and also talk, talks about how successful I have been since then um, uh, with, uh, as on today with two companies, one in Singapore, one in India and two representations in the US market. This ebook also has uh, three worksheets. Now these worksheets is, are essentially, uh, you know, um, the aim that uh, trying, you know, gauging what kind of mindset uh, you have before you actually jump into the world of entrepreneurship. So you have to answer a few questions and you get certain, uh, uh, you, 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 you get a score. Now, uh, towards the end, you have to add up a score uh, using a certain weighted average. And the final score uh, would tell you where you stand based on three categorizations. One, uh, whether you're likely to be a very successful entrepreneur. Uh, two, uh, whether you need to uh, work on it before you actually jump into the world of entrepreneurship. And third, probably entrepreneurship is not your, um, uh, you, you know, you, you, your, your way of life. It should not be your way of life in the future. So those are the th three uh, categories in, in which you would, one of them you would fall in. Now, this particular ebook is available total, totally free to you. It's available on my website. The URL is flashing on the screen. I'll put down the URL in the description box below. Click on it, go to the page, put down your name and email, email address and the link to download the ebook will be emailed to your inbox. I hope you like the book. Please do give me your uh, uh, honest feedback. Now let's jump in. First, let's try and understand uh, the research uh, uh, to get on all together. So Deloitte surveyed more than uh, 1,000 financial finance professionals based in Brazil, China, Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, uh, South Africa, the UAE, the, the United Kingdom, and the US. This research, research was conducted between March of March 24th and April 10th of this year, which was when the cryptocurrency market was booming at that point in time. I will put down the link to download this, uh, this report in the description box below. You can take a look at it uh, and um, that will give you more sense on, on this uh, re research uh, and, the, and the report. Now let's talk about what is the perception that the uh, financial um, leaders have on blockchain. 
First, if you look at this particular graph, you would see three critical points here. 81% of the respondents agreed that the technology is broadly scalable and has achieved mainstream adoption. So before that, let me, uh, let me uh, you know, backtrack a little bit. So what was the question asked here? Question is, what is your level of agreement or disagreement uh, with each of the following statements? And here they're talking about you know, blockchain, digital assets, uh, cryptocurrencies, and all of that. So those were the five questions that were asked, and you know um, there have been three kinds of people who were talking about. Uh, they they they, uh, they were interviewed, or uh, one of them uh, were who were FSI, uh, uh, you know, the, who who were prax practicing uh, FSI. So so they are pine uh, the practitioners, um, or the pioneers, and there were also the FSI overall. So those who may or may not be practicing at this point in time and and, and the other which was the the the, 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 the one on top uh, the bar on top which is the all others all other financial uh, leaders irrespective of FSIs in, in that category so 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 the first one that comes up uh, is that 81 percent of the respondents agree that the technology is broadly scalable and has achieved uh, mainstream adoption. So they're talking about blockchain. So it's uh, they, they think 81% of them believe that it has achieved mainstream adoption. 73% thought that their business should adopt blockchain and digital assets and would lose a, compet a competitive edge if they do not adopt the technology. So which is very critical. 73% feel that if they don't adopt blockchain, then their business or their company will lose the competitive edge, which is very significant. Third, if 78% of, of finance leaders feel there is compelling business case for the use of blockchain, digital assets, and or cryptocurrencies in their organizations or projects. So, so now 78% feel that there is a use or there is a need for blockchain, digital assets, and cryptocurrencies. And 73% feel that if that is not used, then the, their company will lose a competitive edge. So which clearly says that uh, blockchain is something which people should, or companies should seriously consider. Uh, and there is a there is a, a big advantage for those companies who are who have some element of blockchain in their business model. Now, how far they go or how less they go is a different question altogether. And I'm going to uh, tackle that in the uh, in the second part of this uh, uh, of this report tomorrow, uh, where they say what are the uh, where are the areas where you know some companies can actually get in and use blockchain, digital assets, and cryptocurrencies, uh, and and that pertains primarily to their uh, companies. So we'll talk about it, talk, talk about all that tomorrow. So in summary, the the financial uh, uh, leaders they are absolutely in in line with usage of blockchain. Uh, digital assets and cryptocurrencies. So that's the bottom line, and that's the summary of this first part of the of the report that uh, I'm presenting today in this particular video. So um, keeping in line with crypto and blockchain, I if you're an investor and if you're looking to investing in crypto, I did a video um, on five aspects that you should look at before you put in your money into crypto. I'll put the link to that video in the card above. Go take a look at it. It will be useful to you. I'm quite sure about that. So, well, thank you very much uh, for listening to me. Uh, please stay tuned for tomorrow's uh, video on, on, the same to on the same topic or same report. Um, as you know, my name is Saurabh Mukherjee. I'm a digital and technology marketing leader with over 20 years of global experience. Uh, you would find my LinkedIn URL in the description box below. 
Go take a look at my uh, LinkedIn profile and feel free to connect with me. If you are looking to engaging me as a consultant in your company or startup, mm -hmm. where I usually go and try find try to find solutions to business marketing, technological investment challenges, you could drop me a line on LinkedIn or you could uh, write to me on the contact page of my website. The URL to the contact uh, contact page of my website will be in the description box below. Then we can later jump into a conference call and see how we can work together. So finally, before I end this video, please like my uh, videos, uh, please um, subscribe to my channel, please smash the notification bell, please comment on my videos and please share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my videos. So until my uh, next video, uh, which will be again, like I'm saying uh, repeatedly on the same report tomorrow, uh, please uh, stay safe and stay healthy, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.